Timmy Joe reviews anything. Reviewing computer parts on YouTube. That's Woo! Fine. You're gonna be pumped on that, right, Will? Computer parts! Woo! Oh, yeah. My name's Timmy Joe. I make videos about computers on the internet. So, boom, we're back finally with y'all favorites. Y'all got a favorite thing. It's old graphics cards. It's fun. And today on the channel, oh my god, what a doozy. Probably the most beautiful video card I have ever laid my eyes on. It's uh, it's an Asus. It's a Radeon. It's uh, not DirectX 11 compatible. And it's got two GPUs in it. So that's all kinds of fun. Coming up on its 10-year uh, anniversary as well. We always like taking a little look back. It's the Radeon ATI, I mind you. ATI Radeon HD 4780X. 4870X. There we go. X2. And it's actually the top edition. Uh, you know, these number systems, they're so confusing. Anyways, so it's a dual GPU solution of their top-end GPU at the time, launched in 2008. And uh, I have an example here. It's a beautiful example. It's my first time plugging it in. I got it uh, hooked up on a test bench of an 8-core uh, Xeon processor on an X79 platform. MSI uh, Big Bang uh, something, something stretchy too. Anyways, but it's a really high-end platform that's going to support all kinds of Crossfire and uh, SLI. And I wanted to make sure I had something, you know, that's going to eliminate any bottlenecks, assuming we get these things going properly. You know, spoiler alert, they're, they're not. At least this one's not. And, uh, you know, really be able to push the pixels on DirectX 10.1 games. So, this would have been a very expensive card about 10 years ago. And uh, it was considered the fastest card on the planet for, you know, all of the five months it took for NVIDIA to release this. But uh, it was dual GPU solution, and it's that blower style. It's actually idling, and it's blowing hot air into my face and mouth but uh you know if we see here it's got this cool box it's ex extreme video bullshit but specs would be as follows powered by at on radeon hd 4870 x2 gpu two gigabytes of gddr5 memory which would be shared so really technically it's like one uh anyways variety of connectivity microsoft DirectX 10.1 open gl2 support uh, you know, all that kind of good stuff. And then, you know, that's the, the, the basis of the thingies and the stuff. But I got a little more information in here, of course. So we see here, this is kind of what uh, these would have looked like. More uh, aesthetically, like, a, you know, just red with Radeon graphics and stuff on it. There were lots of versions of them. And the top was just a binned uh, factory overclock version that, uh, at least in the Asus iteration, had this beautiful, beautiful girl on it. But... Uh, it's uh, launched on August 12th of 2008, and uh, it has a uh, f what fabrication note of 55 nanometers. So we're about to go on seven. So it took you know 10 years, but we're really shrinking it down into the single digits where this thing was still 55. That's crazy. So it had uh, 956 times two million transistors, 256 times two die size and nanometers. It uh, had PCIe 2.0, and had a core clock of 750, and the memory was at 900. And uh, these factory overclock versions, they, they went up there. They get a little bit of boost going on and stuff like that. But uh, we see here, this is uh, Tom's Hardware Review. It says, the top model is shipped with a higher than reference clock frequencies, and the standard for the GPU is 750, and ASUS increases it to 790. Ooh. The graphics memory is only slightly increased from the 900 to 915. And they go on to say that, you know, this is the card for you if you have lots of money and you want to, you know, you, you want to blow it on the, the high end of high end. Because there were a couple of versions below this thing, you know, th this thing was, you know, this is around the time of crisis, right? So, speaking of crisis, well, NVIDIA releases their uh, GPU, the uh, GTX 295 dual GPU solution, which blows this out of the water only a short time later, uh, January 8th of 2009. It's took them about six months, and uh, that's actually a considerably faster 
carved uh, for several reasons, but they uh, shrunk the die size and stuff like that, but the, the fabrication node was the same uh, between these two. They were both 55. Uh, the 280 was a little bit bigger than that, so uh, this was a little bit of a go from 65. Then they released the 285, which was the 55 process, and then they really put two of those dies on this card, which I happen to have as well. So, uh, thanks. All this stuff's been donated or I'm borrowing, you know, at some point. So, I gotta thank you guys for submitting this content to the channel. It's super fun. So, I just got a real quick, uh, this is a review from 2009 from a channel, Maxashine. 63,000 subscribers. I don't know if he's still making videos, but uh, we see here the GTX 295 in Crisis uh, versus the um, the Radeon, and the Radeon's on the left, and it's got 20 FPS in this scene, and uh, the uh, 1080p, the Crisis on the right, which would be this card, is getting a whole 14 more FPS. So it went from barely playable, you know, to over 30 FPS. You know, that's a considerable difference. So this thing was, you know, beat pretty quickly. But, you know, doesn't mean we're not going to test Crisis, assuming we can get her going. So, yeah, beautiful card. And it's not just because she's got her skirt all showing up there. This is art. This is, uh, you know, a beautiful. And it's not just RGB and, you know, jagged lines and plastic shrouds. This is when a time where they put some real thought in the way this looks. I love this weird uh, heat sink up here and the way the connectors are facing like off the board like that. It's kind of wild. So let's find out what I'm, I'm talking about here. So I'm going to load up Heaven Benchmark and uh, it's not good. I have no overclock or anything running on this. It's uh, installed on Windows 7. Uh, which I thought would help with uh, drivers and stuff like that. That's that's what it looks like. It's it's not good. Here, I'll, uh, I'll hit the record button so y'all can see. Yeah, really, really quickly, this thing artifacts like crazy. It is not a good thing. Uh, the pirate ship is exploding like rubber bands. I don't like... I don't know what's going on. So I'm going to take this thing apart. I've talked with Tyler. He has not done anything but made sure this worked in Windows, which it seems to be doing just fine, but it runs very, very, very hot. And let's see here. It's currently running at 83 degrees at stock. And I don't doubt it. The blower is not even cranking up. So some, something's going on. So we'll go ahead and take this apart. I'm going to take that off. And then uh, we'll hopefully plug it back in. And after some fresh thermal paste, thermal pads, all that good and fixing. Uh, hopefully I don't have to put this thing in the oven or anything to get it working properly. But I'd love to see this thing return to its former glory. And if not, this will be uh, a failed video. And I don't know why I'm doing all this work for this intro. So I'll see you guys in a minute. We're going to go ahead and turn this PC off. And start the process of taking this thing a lot. It's lava. It hurts. It's so freaking hot. My goodness. It's been running for a while there, just idling. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and dig it apart. We'll see what's going on. Boop, 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 boop. Hey! No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Holy jeez, it's on full max fan speed. This is about as good as it gets, boys. This is uh, 3D Mark 2006, one of the free ones you can get on their website now, running on the card. And I've tried my freaking best to get it to work, but as we can clearly see, there is some extreme artifacting, which only gets worse and worse as the card heats up. Now, as you can uh, see, I gotta shut it off. It, it will eventually crash out, or it might make it through, but it's obviously, you know, it fails the benchmark. And uh, I've done a lot of research, as you can see by the next close, you know, the next day of close, whatever I'm talking about. There's a severe issue with this 
Might even have just totally crashed out. I'm not sure. I, I, I have got a lot of uh, time into this, and I'm about done with it. And I would not normally give up on such an endeavor, but the main problem being uh, a lot of people were experiencing this issue with this particular card uh, early on. Like, I'm finding forum posts from, like, 2010, 2000, and, oh, yeah, start Windows normally. Uh, 2011, 12, where this card had uh, quickly become obsolete uh, because, you know, within two, three years of this going on, we had, uh, you know, the 7970 launched. We had some very nice cards from NVIDIA, Fermi, and whatnot. And th those are miles beyond what the capabilities of this is. Now, let's go ahead and turn that ridiculous fan off, and I'll go through a few of the troubleshooting steps I attempted uh, whilst, oops, it's under performance, and whilst I, boo, there you go, whilst I, uh, went through this. So, it had clearly been taken apart, and someone tried to fix this before. It was clean as a whistle, and Tyler bought this, uh, kind of, uh, you know, sight unseen works. I I'm not sure how he got a hold of it, but I hope he didn't pay too, too much for it, because whoever, uh, had this card knew it was foobard. Uh, unfortunately and it's totally AMD's fault because as you saw the cooling solution in this is fan little copper heat sink with no vapor chamber little copper heat sink with no vapor chamber exit and uh, what this does is it creates a basically uh, an oven inside here where the first GPU then bakes the second GPU and you know because the, the first one's getting some fresh air the second one's getting all the heat and then uh, I, I've tried to find, if, is there a way to turn off one of the GPUs? Because I think the primary GPU is the culprit. Uh, it, it reads at a lower frequency all the time at 500 megahertz rather than 750, no matter what I do. I've uh, tried to turn Crossfire off, which you can do if you go into 3D applications. You scroll down here, there's AMD Crossfire mode. You can you have to turn off uh, what this uh, AI something something, Catalyst AI, disable the Catalyst AI. I hit OK, and then you scroll down here, and uh, you disable Crossfire. But it doesn't let you pick which GPU to use as the main one. And I'm pretty sure because the main one's fried, I can't get it to use the secondary one. So this card is just, it, it's done. It's a really pretty, uh, you know, nice wall hanger. Uh, you know, even running it in Windows, it gets so hot uh, that you can you barely even touch it. It's so hot. So I apologize. Like I really, I tried so hard to get some meaningful results from this card. And, uh, there's only so much time you can spend on something that's clearly broken. And, you know, researching, you know, you, you could put them in the ovens and that's a kind of an old wives tale at this point. Uh, but that doesn't fix what's probably wrong with this is, uh, there's some power delivery components that, uh, you know, have, ex you know, expired. They're, they got too hot, and adding uh, heat from an oven isn't going to reflow solder, uh, you know, to allow this to get fixed, which is normally what putting it in the oven does. Uh, if the components are screwed to begin with, you know, there's no sense. So, I'll offer you some consolations, okay? This thing might be foobard, but I have a 3870 here, which I'm fairly certain works very, very well. So, I will be looking at this at some point. I'll also, you know, if you have one of these cards that's working, I'd love to have a proper look at it. But there are definitely more things, you know, more better things we can move on to, like this, which I've already showed. Uh, this is from the same generation, but the NVIDIA side. Fairly certain this thing works. I've had it running in uh, 3D applications before, uh, and there was no artifacting. It has a little bit better of a cooling solution as to the uh, air goes, you know, to one GPU than the other, rather than this one. It's, you know, one after the other which really screws things but you know th th there's this platform to look at on the 79 like this motherboard here and this Xeon this 8 core we will be looking at this eventually and then if you really want to see some dual you know cards going on I have a treat a special for all of y'all haha -ha. yes this is an Asus GTX 590 what would be pretty much be a very relevant card to check out and try but I don't only have one of these. Thanks, Tyler. I have two of them. Quad SLI with the NVIDIA GTX 590 will be happening very, 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 very soon. 
So we're going to check that out, okay, because I don't like these types of videos where you don't get your end result. It's just, it's really frustrating and I end up spending way too much time trying to get this working uh, when, you know, better, you know, this time could be spent better uh, other places. So as a tiny consolation prize to this, I offer uh, an actual completed video with this video card here. You can check out my buddy F2F Tech's video on it. He is an awesome uh, YouTuber, an awesome uh, video card reviewer. He goes into an extreme science detail uh, above and beyond the stuff that I do. I usually want to, you know, play with it, you know, get a couple benchmarks, see things. He gets into, like, the serious nature of these cards, and he reviewed this exact, well, uh, a version of this card. I don't know if it was the top or whatever, but uh, he has all the info, and he, I was talking with him trying to troubleshoot this. He says he had just the same amount of trouble, uh, especially getting it to work in Windows 10. That's why we are using Windows 7, but when the card has cooked itself and it won't even, you know, display geometry correctly or shaders or whatever, it it's probably a lost cause so go check out his video uh he could use some love on his channel because he does some super sweet work and we will be back again like like i said got this i got that i got this thing and the other thing and i you know i feel defeated but there's you know there's times where you're gonna fail and that's fine but uh you can always support the channel at watch me join instagram and twitter go uh follow me social media there's a patreon uh you know we're getting some new people on there that is just amazing thank you so much again this is my full-time job now so any support you know buying on amazon go to amazon use my links in the description uh that always helps out it's you know free for you to do if you're already buying on amazon all that good stuff but we will be back i do not remain defeated for long and uh although this little girl is super cutie or whatever she's uh, this way this way um you know it doesn't mean that she can have a good video card that works it's uh it's really a pain in the ass so i'll see you guys later thank you very much see you later bye, -bye. <laughs>